Hi, it's Steffi from Steffi's Beads and Bobbles, and I wanted to tell you or show you how I'm going to make a little necklace. And I wanted to show you kind of what I do when I'm doing this type of project. Now I'm using some old stuff and some new stuff, and this is the piece I'm going to make into a little pendant. And so right now I'm trying to. It's going to be a Christmas one, so I want to figure out what I want to put on it. So my what the way I do this is I go through and I make up charms. So I make up some charms. I don't loop them. I just make them up and I'm gonna probably loop some of these and just keep them because I like them. But like this is a big chunky one that could be used for a um, tassel or something. This one's a little bit more traditionally colored and a little bit smaller. Same, this one's, uh, I already had this charm made up I think from the other day when I did the tassels and um, this one I made up today because I like that silver I thought it might go well with the uh, piece and then this was a big heavy piece from an old piece of jewelry and then these spacers whenever I use these some of them are new but a lot of them are, are off of old pieces as well then I always have a bunch of these little kind of charms here I've always got a bunch of these made up that can be, and this is like a little bell here. But these little things are great because if you have a bunch of those, some of these are taken off of, now these aren't, but sometimes I'll have, like this one is taken off of a bracelet. These I made, I believe, the other day. And then I have charms like this Christmas present and some little snowflakes. And I've got these charms all out and a bunch of just different charms out. And then I've got all these charms that I made up the other day when we were doing the um, tassels. So, and some of these I already had made up. So I have a bunch of these. This is, I believe, off of a tassel that I took apart. That's an etched aluminum bead. It's very pretty. But this is a snowflake one. And here's another little snowflake one. Here's a little Santa where I took a glass bead and tried to make it look like his beard. I'm not real sure about it, but it was just something fun I tried. And then here's a little reindeer. This was already made up. And then I have this big one here that I'll probably do a new tassel on the bottom and make this into a pendant for another piece. Then I had a couple of these. I think I have a green one too. So I have a whole bunch of stuff out, but then I decided I was going to make a particular piece up. And so I made the first one, which is this piece here. And so I took this fan and I put this big bead on there. And I want to show you why it didn't work. Um, okay, so I put it on the jump ring. But if you notice, that bead sticks out. It makes the charm I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see. Hold on. I'm trying to show you. Um, I think you can see it. The, the bead is too wide or too deep and it's pushing the charm away from laying flat. So that didn't work. So I didn't like that. I have a bunch of these little fans. So then I did this one which I really like. And that lays flat and it's very simple. But then I thought, well, I have this long chain. Why not do a longer one? So I came up with this one. And it lays flat and then it, and it has beads that go all the way down. So I decided I'm going to go with this one. Now, before I close it up, I'm going to stick the chain in there. So that way I don't have to open it a second time. I just wanted to show you that this is how I plan things. And I'm trying to keep these vi videos shorter for you guys. So I'm trying to do a lot of the... Now some of them I will plan... I'll do from like I did the other one where I do everything from the beginning. Or, you know, show you every step. But sometimes... Oh, these shadows are driving me nuts. And I don't know... I've got a ring light basically on both sides of the, com the camera. Let me see if I can pull this one closer. If that will get rid of the shadows. It's ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. If it's the camera itself doing it or what. But I've got a, a light above and I've got 
um, lights on either side. But anyway, I'm going to put the chain on and then I'm going to squeeze it together like that. You want to do it till you hear and feel the two sides of the jump ring rubbing together and then you know that that's tight and you can see there's no oh there's a little light there so let's see there now I heard it click so that way you know it's secure now here is what it looks like I think it turned out really good let me hang it on the form and I'll be right back to show you how it looks Okay, I'm back and I've got it hanging up on the necklace display and here's how it looks. I like how the longer beads look because this was the first one I did and when I hung it on there there was just a lot of, and I also put it the opposite direction too. Oop. And um, the other one with the, here, here's the other one with the uh, the other bead. It hung down a tiny bit longer than this one and had a lot of the same elements because it has the metal bead there, sorry, the metal bead there. But I just liked this better. This is a nice metal bead. It's off of another piece of jewelry. This was taken off of a piece of jewelry. It was one of those pieces that had like a whole bunch of these in a row or something. I, I don't know. I took them all apart. I have at least three of them that I'm aware of. But I liked it with the longer tassel because you got such a long chain. And the chain has a dark and a light. So it looks good with this old chain, which I love using old chain. Now some of you might not. This has some of the brass showing through, so it's not perfect. But I like that. Now if you like a bright, shiny chain, you can just do that. But I don't mind that. I don't mind when the, the chain is showing some age. Now I did tie this up in back because it's a really long chain and it does not have a clasp so you could put a clasp on if you wanted or you could shorten it but I'm really happy with how it came out now I know a lot of you like me to show from the beginning and I will on a lot of pieces but I wanted to show you kind of what I do and I really do do this I make up a bunch of charms and if you look I've got all kinds of beads off of my my Christmas tray Oh yeah, here's the red tassel, and I just got all kinds of cool charms and different connection connectors or spacers. I had a big snowflake I could have put on there if I'd wanted to. I have a big Christmas tree I could have hung on there too. So I had everything out, and, and uh, I had all my head and loop pins here, my tools, and I just really played with it. <clears throat> But I don't, didn't want to do too long of a video tonight because it's, it's getting late. And I wanted to get a video up for you tomorrow. And I'm trying to shorten the videos a little bit. I will do other ones where you get to see the whole process. But you did get to see how I decided to do the one. I've got to, I've got to straighten up some of these. Uh, these are a little crooked, but I'll get that all straightened up. I never list anything. Till it's all straightened up but this will be listed on uh, on uh, eBay <clears throat> but um, I'm really happy with it I like the fringe um, there was another one of those earrings what did I do with it here it is it was sh it was longer whoops hold on it was it was it still got the ear wire it was longer but the chain was cut off um, I don't know if you can see uh, but one of the silver chains is shorter than the others. Oh, let me see if I put it in the light. See where it's twisted over? You can see where it got cut off. So I was going to use the longer one first, but then I thought about it, and I really like how the short one came out. So I'm going to cut this one into two different um, earrings if I can. I don't know if I... are two different pieces. And I've got some chain over here on this necklace that I kept... That's all chain. It's literally a necklace of fr chain fringe. So this is going to be a wonderful supply of shorter chain fringes. Now these are shorter. They're not as long. But I do have other fringes I can use. But anyway, I hope you like it. I'm thrilled with how it turned out. I just uh, had fun making it. And like I said, this was reused. 
this was reused, the back was reused, and this was reused. Only these beads are new. The rest of it was all repurposed. So it's fun what you can do, and there's no end. I mean, you can just use things. I mean, this was an odd-looking piece that I used. And you look at that and go, what can I do with it? Well, you can do a lot with it. Use it as a background. So when you have an unusual piece like this that is just kind of different and you don't know what to do with it, then come up with something you can do over it. But these were probably pretty cool earrings back in their day. This one was just missing the top because it hung, it was like this. You can see how much longer it is. It's taller. So anyway, that's what I did. And then, you see, I found this beautiful earring, which is not really Christmassy, but you can do a Christmas pink uh, piece of jewelry too. But this is the kind of stuff you can use. And let's say you like this bow, but you don't want pink. Well, you can take that bow and the bead cap that's on that bead and take it apart and then just put a different color bead on there. It's like you could put a red bead or a white bead or a pearl that's white or even gold and totally change that. So keep in mind you do not, oh that's turned backwards I think, you don't have to keep things the way they are. This completely comes apart. you got a bead cap on the bottom and on the top. So there's so much you can do and you can just have so much fun. So I will probably go ahead and loop some of these that I really like and then just use them for some other projects. But anyway, I will be doing more where you see more of the process. But I, I actually, the first video was a little bit that way. But my dog started barking and I found I was out of frame once or twice. And I told you, if I'm not in frame, I will record it. I'm not going to put any more videos up that are not in frame. I mean, I don't mind if I'm out a second once or twice, but I've got to get myself to the point where I'm on frame all the time. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm really happy with how it came out, and I will be back really soon. I've got a cute little Christmas ornament video I'm going to do tomorrow that'll come up probably either Thursday or Saturday, and then Friday is going to be another scheduled Goodwill Blue Box, the last one I have already recorded. After that, I've got three boxes that I received that I've already opened that I'm going to record for you. So, anyway, thank you so much, and I'll be back soon. Bye.